Hello. As we head into this weekend, there's actually going to be a good deal of fine, dry and rather warm weather across parts of the south and east. However, further north and west, a different story. We can see that already as we go through Friday morning, outbreaks of heavy rain pushing across parts of Northern Ireland into Northern England and into a big chunk of Scotland too, although far northeastern parts of Scotland clinging on to some sunshine well into the afternoon. Watch out for some strong gusty winds, particularly towards the northwest of Scotland. However, further south across the bulk of England and Wales is actually looking largely fine. Yes, there could be some murkiness, some cloud around at first, but increasing amounts of sunshine as we go through the afternoon, though that sunshine may be a bit hazy at times due to some high level cloud. In the sunshine, it's going to feel pretty warm. Temperatures rising to highs of around 20, 21, possibly even 22 Celsius towards the London area. Elsewhere, yes, temperatures will be a few degrees lower than this, but well above average for the time of year. This is because we have warm air across the bulk of the country and high pressure to the south of us and it's this high pressure that is leading to a pretty settled dry picture for many southern areas as we head into the weekend. However, the jet stream is still running across the UK. It is just a little bit shifted north compared to what we've seen recently. And it's this jet that's driving various frontal systems across the country as we go through the weekend. And these frontal systems bring the focus for the wet weather that we're going to see, which is why it is going to be across northern parts where we see the wettest weather this weekend all the time towards the south southeast, likely to stay mostly dry. The other thing, aside from the wet weather, is going to be the change in our wind direction. We're dragging in our air from the southwest to start the weekend and then we get some northwesterly winds coming in as we go through Sunday and towards Monday and that brings some colder air so although it gets off to a warm start this weekend is going to turn fresher. Looking at the details though, Saturday morning, watch out for some murkiness towards Eng English Channel coasts and could be a bit of clouds and some drizzly outbreaks of rain across some parts of northern western England and into Wales as well. The most unsettled weather on Saturday though will be across Northern Ireland and in particular across Scotland. Some hefty showery rain pushing its way through, could be some downpours, could cause some localised issues because it is falling on very saturated ground. Also still some strong gusty winds, particularly towards the northwest. Towards the southeast, though, East Anglia, London, Kent, for example, it's actually going to be largely fine. A decent amount of sunshine here. Yes, again, it might be quite hazy, but nonetheless, a fine day for many in this area. Temperatures may not be quite as high as on Friday, still above average for the time of year. 19, possibly 20 Celsius towards the southeast and a few degrees lower than this further north. Now, most people who suffer from hay fever suffer from grass pollen. We're in tree pollen season, so it doesn't affect the majority of hay fever sufferers, but worth being aware that because of the fine weather many southern eastern parts are going to have as we go into the weekend, there are some high levels of pollen around, so some people will be starting to feel the effects of this. As we go through Saturday evening and overnight into Sunday, more showery rain affecting parts of Scotland in particular. Could be some sleet and snow over the higher ground here and staying with some gusty winds, particularly towards the north of Scotland. Largely dry across the bulk of England and Wales. A few showers coming through at times, particularly for northern and western parts, but also quite a bit of clear skies. And with that as well, and the slightly fresher air that I highlighted at the start coming through, temperatures will be a li little bit lower than they have been through some recent mornings. A bit of a fresher start on Sunday compared to some recent days. Through Sunday itself then we have a bit of a north-south split. Plenty of showers across northern parts still could be heavy, there could be some hail, could be some thunder mixed in with these and they could be a bit gusty at times and still the chance of some snow over the highest peaks of Scotland too. Towards the south across the bulk of England and Wales, apart from a few dotted showers around, it is again going to be a largely dry day. I think there'll perhaps be a bit more sunshine than these graphics suggest. Most of us should see some decent bright sunny breaks. That being said though, temperatures are going to be lower than they have been recently. I showed you colder air pushing its way in this weekend and so they're going to be much closer to average for the time of year, ranging from just about getting into double figures towards the north to mid-teens towards the south. The plus side of that though, if you are a hay fever sufferer feeling the effects of tree pollen on Friday and Saturday is that pollen levels will, will be actually reducing as we go through this weekend. So just low to moderate levels for most of us. Later on on Sunday, there's more unsettled weather coming in from the northwest. Outbreaks of heavy showery rain staying drier towards the southeast, though worth bearing in mind some of that hefty showery rain is going to push its way southeastwards as we go into Monday. So next week does get off to a showery start for many of us and it is going to be fresher than through Friday and Saturday in particular. But 
There are some promising signs that we're going to see high pressure building from the west as we go through next week. And so that could lead to a more settled, drier spell, a more prolonged dry spell than we've seen for many weeks or months, to be honest. And with that, temperatures should rise again. So turning a bit warmer as we head towards the following weekend. We will, of course, keep you up to date. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. YouTube channel sorry. So you never miss an update. Bye-bye.